Hello again, it's Vesper HBT. Just want to give you another update on the VestGen motor project and generator. So uh, you can see right here, we still have a few magnet holders that we still need to build. Those will be coming soon. Right here is the uh, mounting bracket that's going to hold our center support. So it's a, uh, a new piece that we just CNC'd out. Uh, looks just like the uh, animated figure. Here's the other half. These are a pressure fit. They go directly here into the center hub area and they get pressed in. Uh, we're not going to press them in right now, but they do attach through these three holes as you can see here. They, uh, they insert with the three tabs. We use uh, some uh, five millimeter bolts for those. We're using three millimeter bolts around here on the inside. There are six of those. And those bolts look like this. They're just a standard three millimeter bolt. As you can see here, they have an Allen head for the insertion point. This right here is the six millimeter bolt that goes on the outside on those three little tab flanges that you can see there. So how that lines up is these line up like this and then we put the bolts through on the outside to line both halves on the front and back. There you can see a good shot of it. So, once we do this for the AC side, then uh, there's another piece that comes up here, and that was the pulley, if you remember in the video. So what we do is we insert this piece here into this block, and that enables us to tighten it down on the shaft so it engages the entire rotor. And once it engages the rotor, of course, the AC motor is what powers the rotation on the rotor. So what we'll do is, after we do the AC point, then we'll take this little piece out, and we'll put it back here in this, and then we'll mount our bearing. Now our bearing is a high industrial strength bearing rated for 300 pounds. Of course, our rotor doesn't weigh that much, and it's also rated up to 1,000 um, RPM static load at that, or at the weight that we're running, it's guaranteed for 100,000 RPMs. So it'll definitely work for what we need. Now, once we get that done and we press, press the bearing into it, it'll look like this. This is just a demonstrator model uh, that we cut to start out with just to make sure everything was going to fit together correctly. So just to show you how that bearing goes in there. <clears throat> now that'll sit flush on top of the rotor once we get it pressed in just like this. There's one on the front and one on the back. Again, you can see the balancing point there on the rotor. So that's what that's for. Here's the back of the rotor. Again, kind of looks like the front of the rotor, I know. But this is where the other one will mount, just like that, through the same three holes. I hope that gives you some information on it. Thanks for watching.